It looks like each and every time United is going to start a new season, there are always things that are not right for the manager who goes by names of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and we do have a very big injury blow of Aaron Wan Bissaka in there, though some positive news coming in there through, and we wait to see where that will take us to, as you guys, we are really also to bring the story of Diego Dallo, big vow, ahead of this new season in here. Welcome to... Manchester United Matters channel. How are you guys? Where are you watching it from? This is Rokan Devin onto this channel, bringing you the story of a man who goes by the names of Aaron Bisaka and Diego Dello. Feel free to go into the comment section and tell him what you think about the Aaron Bisaka injury blow and Diego Dello makes a big vow ahead of the season in here as he really had an interview with Manchester United TV in there. I'm Rokan David. Onto this channel, feel free to come through and really talk to me anytime into the comment section. Remember, I'm a man who really comes out and really replies almost every comment in there. Now, today, there is a story that landed in there from Manchester United that Aaron Bissaka really got an injury in there, and it was reported by, is it the Manchester United Evening News? If at all, I might check very well. Let me check my sources in. Yes, it's the Manchester United Evening News. And they said that. And the source came out and said that Aaron Wan Bissaka got an injury in there, but was clear to go in there with United in Scotland. Remember, United in Scotland to spend their three days Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and they're really going to return on Wednesday night back in Manchester at AON. And it's rumored that. That game of Preston North End that they never played is going to be played behind closed doors then on, on, on Saturday or Sunday. When 7th? That is a Saturday. 7th United will go in and play a team which goes by names of Everton as its last game of the preseason in there. Now, it was reported by the Manchester United Evening News and ESPN that... Manchester United are hopeful to have Aaron Wan Bissaka available for the start of the season despite the defender picking up an injury in there. And they continue to ahead to say that Aaron Wan Bissaka was past fit to travel to Manchester United's pre season camp in St. Andrews, Scotland, but has been given an individual training program as a precaution with the new season less than two weeks away in there. So, Aaron Wan Bissaka and injuries is something that we never always talked about at United. When has Bis has Aaron Wan Bissaka ever missed a game because he's injured? I don't really remember. If he has Ava, he has only missed like one game in there because I remember his debut season at United, he played over the 38 games at Manchester United. This season, the only game he never played was that game that United played a team which was by names of Wolves that ended the season because they are all preparing to go in and prepare for what we call the UEFA Europa League that we lost to a team which goes by the names of Villarreal in there. The other game that he missed out on was that game of Leicester City because United was going to play two games in 48 hours playing Leicester City and then a team which goes by the of Liverpool in there. So he played the game of Liverpool and he, by the way he came up with an assist into that game and he never played the game of Leicester City. I think those are the only two games that he never played. He played all the Champions League games, UEFA Europa League games, all of the games. I saw him play almost all the Carabao Cup games, FA Cup games. So it shows you how the match football has had at Manchester United. And I think this is the effect because for two seasons, playing close to 40, 50 games a season, oh my God, no rest really calls for a manager really to rest this player because he's playing so much football and that's why he's having this injury. Though he really got a very good rest in their close because United last played a game in um, a competitive game on 26th, on 26th what? It was 26th, um, 26th May in Poland against a team which goes by the name of Real, where we lost out that finale on penalties. Then he rested at 26th month, 26th July. That was one month. <laughs> then they returned to training, I think, on uh, first, around 1st July. That's when they returned at Manchester United to train. That is Aaron Bissaka for you. So it shows you that Bissaka had a good rest, but this injury, I don't know whether he got it from training or in the match that we played against the team, a team of uh, Brentford, because I think he played like 90 minutes in there. So to me, I think it was because of the fatigue. Maybe it's fatigue, but him getting injured is really not good news for Manchester United because I really saw him playing very well. He even created an assist in that game of Brentford, the first goal that Elanga scored. 
showing us that he's really improving on what we call his final ball in there because everything for Aaron Bissaka is okay. Defensively, he's okay. Going forward, goes forward very well. But that final ball that will result into an assist in there is something that he should really improve on. If at all he really improves that on to bring in crosses like those of Rice James, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Kyle Walker, which other player really has a very good cross? Hector Berrien of Arsenal really has a very good cross on him. Which other player? The other player, I think Cancelo has a good cross on him and Kian Trippier in there. If at all, he can really try to give him those crosses like his partner in crime who plays the opposite side, on the side he plays at Manchester United, who goes by names of Luke Shaw, I think will really be a best right back in the world. He has that potential. And by the way, people were asking themselves that why would Alan B. Saka go for 50 million pound shillings? Guys, buying a, a bar, a, buying a player at 20 years who really has a potential, how much do you expect to get that player at? You get? If at all you can get Ben Chirwell at Leicester City, who is older than Aaron B. Saka at 50 million pounds, why not get a player who goes by Aaron B. Saka at 50? Because he's really a good player and he has really shown it. Last season, he really scored his first professional goal against Newcastle. I remember he just had some good number of assists at United, close to three or four a season, something that is not bad for him we, we wish he can really make he can really raise them to six between six and ten this year that is something we are calling for from Aaron Bissaka it would be really great but him being away and it's really not good news but it's promising that he's really going to come back and play the game against Leeds because when you look at United almost they are players that we think are going to be pivotal in there and they're, not, and they're not going to train for a very long time in there. Now, there is a report I've read that Edson Cavani, Freddie, Paul Pogba and Jordan Sancho are not yet into the training camp of Manchester United. They are only expected to report in there. And it looks like a big blow because they would have been with us. They would have been with the team in Scotland that one week and the other remaining week. Such that because when you look right now, United is playing its first game on the 11th, on the 14th. We are left with just 11 days. And the problem as well, these players have not yet joined United is they've been quarantining. You get quarantining for five days. Pogba reported, I think, on Sunday or Saturday back in Manchester, but he's quarantining for five days, meaning he's joining United on Friday. Or Thursday. I think even Sancho is back, but he's quarantining for five days, meaning they're joining United on Thursday, even Edson Cavani and Freddy. So meaning that they're only having because on Friday it's going to be it's going to be fifth. It's going to be Friday is going to be sixth in there, meaning that they are really going to have just a week to trade with United. And I don't know what Oli Gunnar Sosha is going to do because even Rafael Veran, whom we expect to be partnering Harry Maguire in there in the game of Leeds, might be away. You get, I don't know whether the manager will be really, we will have the zeal to really give him a game in there. Yes. So, talking about Bisaka and leaving him, that's how I see the United squad in there. But the good thing is that Diego Delo has really come out and given us a very positive interview. Something that I like. I like the way he really saw himself to be that big player having a very good long season away at SC Milan and really craving to get a more big season in there. And you never know, the Aaron Juan Bissaka injury comes in as, as a catalyst for him really or a blessing in disguise for him because he can really take over. You know now in the game of Everton, you expect him to play in the preseason game that is, is expected to be played behind doors. I think midweek we expect him to play that is Diego Delo and you never know he might impress as he did in the Euros and by the way this boy is lucky because he was not meant to be into the Euros but a player who was Benazo Cancelo <laughs> tested positive for COVID-19 he couldn't recover well back in time and they really told him you are out Diego Delo comes in Diego Delo comes in a man who goes by names of Semedo was playing the right back he played two games in the third game against France, he got an injury. Then Diego Delo came into play. And he played that game of France and he played the other game where Belgium knocked them in the round of 16. And he played very well. And we look all that, that is luck. And I think players who have luck, you never know. Diego Delo might even start Manchester United, however much there are rumors that Kian Trippier is being wanted at Manchester United. But there is no way 
United is going to pay 30 million pounds that is being wanted by a team which goes by Atletico Madrid to get in Kylian Trippier, a 30 year old player, and you buy him 30 million pounds. Yet, even Ronaldo, one of the world's greatest in here, costs 30 million pounds. <laughs> no way, no way. Atletico Madrid, you are just playing onto what it's called money. You are into a financial crisis. You'll get this money. If not, Diego Dello will start Manchester United and will compete for his position in there at Manchester United. In his own words, this is what Diego Dello came on and said in there. Diego Dello went ahead and said, <coughs> ahead of his hopes for the new season, he said, keep developing. I want to keep playing. I want to keep giving everything I have and improve. I know last season was fantastic, but I can do even more good you see the self-belief this lad has in himself that i can even do more in there so meaning that each and every time he's developing remember he came out in manchester united from fc Porto and was brought in by Mourinho. and Mourinho said he was the best teenager right back in the world Dello continued and said that and then a little bit i was not expecting at all but to be called up last minute for the euros in the first squad was like a dream come true something very very good for me and my family and it was fantastic to be part of it i've told you the whole journey of how he really came through and became part of the portuguese euro 2020 squad delo ended and said that it was only the most beautiful summer that i've had in a long time obviously with the under 21s we got to the final the tournament was fantastic we didn't have to win but in the end we couldn't in there that is diego dello in there for you Callan shallot rating him as one of the best right backs in there and wanting him at madrid though madrid feels like they're not really willing to spend on him in there after selling a man who goes by the names of Rafael Veran to Manchester United in there. So he is really a very good lad. He's focused on the game and we hope him to go on and do better at United. Let's see whether he stays at United. Something that I really feel like it should happen. I don't really want to see a man who goes by the names of Diego Delo sold away because he is 20. Let him compete with Aaron Bissaka and let the best really come up through and really play. You get Yes, that's what we should do. Look at Man City. Kyle Walker and Cancelo are competing for that position. You get, let's get two competitive players. Let's not get a player who is 30 years old and competing with Alwan Bisaka because he'll just be like, he won't really take. I, I've heard people say that they're afraid that that Kylian Trippier will get Aaron Bissaka out of that Norway. Norway. The only thing Kylian Trippier does better than a player who goes by his Aaron Bissaka is one. His final boy is better. You get. But when it comes to playing defensively and coming up with the ball, I think a man who goes by the name of Aaron Bissaka is better. And I think United look like they want to do something like what Alex Telles came to do for Luke Shaw, as in telling, put him on prayer and really improve on his final ball. Because Alex Telles was his final ball is very superb in there. And the final ball of a man who goes by Kylian Trippier is superb. And when you get him at the club, he'll train Aaron Bissaka because he's 30. Bisaka is like 22, 23 in there. So meaning that he's coming at on purpose. He's coming at United on purpose in there. So to me, I really believe that even if Trippier comes in, something that I don't really want, he'll be a good, a good, a good person that is really going to add a lot of more things to a player who goes by the names of Diego Dello. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to be sucker fat, but Diego Dello, the only thing he lacks is defensively is not all that good, but going forward is good. His final ball is good. He can even score goals wanted by S Milan and United really won 20 million pounds to get him back. Long season loan and you pay off the money at the end of the season. And you know that you know the financial problems that the teams in Italy are really facing in there. So you never know. Diego Dello might start United and might compete highly in there. And I think we just have to keep it up prayers that he really impresses the manager who goes by the names of Ole Gunnar Socia. Because some of us really think that we shouldn't really spend that money of bringing in a player who goes by the names of Kian Trippier. Diego Dello is really a good player in there. But I don't know what the manager thinks. I don't know what he really thinks about that. But for me, I think Diego Dello is the real deal for Manchester United and we shouldn't really let him go. Now, this is all what we had on this story. Go into the comment section and tell him what you think about this story of Bisaka's injury. Though he's expected to be back in the game of Leeds. That means and he has been given a special training program in there. He's training separately from his teammates and Diego Dello who is the competitor for the same position has really come out and said I'm really 
I'm really hoping to get a better season. I'm really ready to go all in to say to you that I really get my position back at United. If at all, I'm staying at the club. That's it. What I had on this channel. I'm Rokan Devin, aka RD. This is Manchester United Matters channel. Feel free to get the comment section and tell us what you think about these two stories. Aaron Ronald Basaka injury blow. Diego Delo's big vow in there. Thank you guys for watching. It's much like on the video. Comment and share. Subscribe. And after subscribing, hit the notification bell. What happens when you hit the notification bell? You'll get a notification each and every time we go live or schedule a video or premiere a video onto this channel. I'm out for now. See you later. Five finger salute to all the Manchester United fans out there. We are yet jetting into another action-packed season. Rafael Veran is in. Jordan Sancho is in. Martial is back. And I'm really planning to do that video of how the players are training in there, in Scotland in there. And many more stories are coming in. We are into the title race. We are really, this season we are competing favorably. Favorably, if I told you know that word. I'm out. See you later.